it's Andrea. Welcome to my channel for another speed build. This is actually a super impromptu speed build. I was feeling super uninspired. I wanted to do like another one of my rainbow houses and just I just couldn't. I tried to do a let's play. I couldn't do that. So I don't know. All of a sudden I was like, okay, let's build a small wedding chapel. A few things while we get into it. I totally forgot that um, Sims can't go elsewhere for reception. So there's no there's no like bar or kitchen area, but there's plenty of space. You could totally add one. This is just basically there is a wedding area and there's bathrooms. So it'd be perfect for Sims who maybe want to elope or something like that. You could still invite friends and family, but not have the whole like big flashy wedding party. Um, anyway, I am really pretty happy with how this turned out. It's very simple, almost a little bit rustic. Um, I did a ton of landscaping, which you're going to see very shortly. I put another one of my little ponds in. I love making these ponds. I don't know why. I just think they look so nice. Um, and then if you use that water from Jungle Adventure and add in some plants and some lily pads, I just, I wish we could have little fish swimming around in there. Like how cute would that be if we could have like a little like koi pond or something? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I just put a ton of plants and stuff in there and made it look like just this teeny little cute little pond. I put a fountain in there too, of course, because I thought that would be really cute in like the backdrop for an outdoor wedding or something. Um, and I think this build is one like I don't think I've ever landscaped quite as much as I did here. Like I'm, I used to really hate landscaping, but I'm starting to like it more. And I think it's because I'm like learning how to do it better, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm really starting to like it a lot. And then of course I did my thing with all the um, rocks around the edge of the fountain. I did cut some of, or most of that out actually, because I just felt like it was, it just, it's the same thing over and over and over again. So <laughs> I cut a lot of, um, of that out. So um, yeah, so I was thinking, and I think I mentioned on Twitter that I wanted to start like telling more like personal stories during my speed build. This one's really short, so I'm not going to do it in this one, but I do have two that I've thought of, um, a haunted house that I lived in once, and also the time my apartment got broken into by a naked guy. <laughs> And people seem pretty interested on Twitter, so if you are watching this right now and you haven't seen that status, and if you are interested in hearing either of those, let me know. I think I'm going to do the Haunted House one. I'm working on a castle build right now. I think I'm going to do the Haunted House one with that because I think, I don't know, that just seems appropriate, like a big giant scary castle and haunted house. <laughs> I don't know. but um, And I don't know when I'll do the apartment one, but if you're interested in stuff like that, please let me know because I'm sure that I could come up with some sort of stories from my life. I mean, I think those are the two most exciting stories I have, but who knows? Maybe something else will happen to me between then and now. Um, anyway, so back to the build. The interior of the like chapel portion is very simple. I don't think I really did any decor. There's just the wedding arch, there's a violin and a guitar, and then of course chairs. I wanted it to look very rustic, so I used, I'm, I'm pretty sure those chairs are from Outdoor Retreat because they're, they're wooden and um, they just, they have that pack vibe, so I'm pretty sure it's where they're from. I put those same chairs outside except in a different color. And then I built a little pavilion thing for the bathrooms. And guys, <laughs> I cut most of this out, but oh my gosh, this was a pain in the butt to make. Like, I wanted it to be this shape, but then I couldn't roof it. Like, even the... Um, the roof that is supposed to go with that shape of building didn't work. Like none of them worked. So I ended up using the circle roof, which actually looked really good. So I'm totally happy with it. But um, yeah, so both of the bathrooms, they're not gendered. And I just realized I put the doors in backwards. <laughs> awesome job. They're not gendered. So any Sim can go in either one because I, I think it's really annoying gendered bathrooms in the Sims. Like my Sim just wants to go to the bathroom. Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, both the two bathrooms are exactly the same from the placement of the items to there's like a purple um, flower wreath on the wall. I just um, didn't think they needed to be different. And for simplicity's sake, I just wanted them to be the same. This build only took me an hour, which is probably why I forgot so many things like, oh, there's no bar and there's no way to have food and there's no table for a cake. And <laughs> but anyway, um, it is on the gallery if you do want to download it. I, you know, I mean, just realize that like it's not totally complete. And then... Um, yeah, I just did a bunch of landscaping. Um, I put a ton of trees around 
in a little bit I think you're gonna see me put in a swing set and I thought that'd be really nice because if you do have like guests like maybe you have guests with children or maybe you have children of your own that they would want something to do and you know besides having the pond where they might fall in <laughs> they can go on the swing set and at least that kind of keeps them out of your hair for a minute right so yeah I put in a ton of trees actually and to the point where you can't even like see the little chapels the screenshots are just you can't even see it but I thought it looked really cool anyway I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day